Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to this walkthrough of Ether 1. This is Blackjack Kent, and uh, we have finished our run through, uh, what was this, Pinwheel Harbor, uh, and we're going to move on to our next location, which is somewhere else in Pinwheel Harbor, as I recall. We uh, briefly experienced Jean's memories of a birthday party for no immediately obvious reason. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep moving here. The, um... Yeah, we're we're going to see what happens next. Um, I've been trying to decide how I want to handle uh, this whole business with the uh, side puzzles here, and I think my general inclination is just that I'm not going to worry about them. Um, because they're <laughs> very difficult, and I'm having a lot of trouble with them, and basically this walkthrough would be nothing but me being like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing for, you know hours at a time, which wouldn't be fun for me to record. The should be around here somewhere. Now let us... Let's explore, shall we? Sure. Um, and wouldn't be very entertaining for you guys either. So we're gonna, we're gonna stick with the main storyline here. If we happen to solve any of the puzzles, great, more power to us, but I'm not gonna stress about it. So, here's our path. This, uh, gate was locked before. Now we're going to go find some red ribbons out by the Pinwheel River, or whatever it's called. This is such a pretty game, though. Fur Cerus. Alright, we have a couple of paths here that we can take. I'm thinking we'll go to the right and see what we find. hey -o. there's a book. Painter's Journal number three. In today's workshop, we were asked to paint using a personal life experience as inspiration. I struggled to think of anything at first, as I wanted to think about my time in America, but my thoughts kept coming back to Pinwheel. Eventually, I gave up and decided to draw upon event an event that happened here in the 1960s, something that was traumatic for me and for the rest of the village. The mines from memory were dark and claustrophobic, and the men trapped down there helpless as the water came through the cavern wall. I wish I could remember all of their names, and I hope that today's painting did them all justice. My teacher said it was very good, but a little too dark for her. So this uh, mine collapse was evidently a formative experience for Jean. I don't know if we're supposed to go up the river or not. Uh, um, oh, someone asked me... A friend of mine asked me whether it was possible to stop the... Um, shakiness of the camera when walking. Doesn't look like it is. Uh, oh, hey, look! Head bob amount. I wonder if that's what it is. Check it out! There you go, Lee. Hope you appreciate that. Um, okay, moving on. So we have a nice little, uh, field-type area here, surrounded by a rock fence that we do not appear to be able to jump over. Which is fine. Fewer places we have to, uh, wander into all at the same time, probably the better, the more likely we'll be able to see everything. There's another gate that looks closed. Oh ho! Easel. Painter's Journal number 10. Dr. Edmonds, that's uh, Phyllis, we know Dr. Edmonds, um, has asked me to write in here during my therapy sessions and not at home because I haven't been filling out my book when I'm on my own. I told her I'd did not want to do it anymore, but she insisted that I do because it will help me remember things. I just want to paint and I don't want to write. Colors make it clearer, they make everything clearer for me. Today I'm going to paint the view from out this window. Then Dr. Edmonds says Jim is going to come and pick me up and take me back to the care home. Thomas. I thought you were Jean. What's going on here? This has a lock. Alright. Uh, we got another gate here that's 
like, whoa. I don't like that noise. Huh, okay. Alright, well that's freaking out. Uh, we'll leave that be for right now. Um, let's try going down this way. Down to the, uh... We used to sail model boats down here. That's nice. Thanks, Jean, <laughs> for that. Uh, Alright, looks like we're not going to drown in this, so that's good. Let's go upstream. This is relaxing. Which probably means something's going to fall out of the sky onto me pretty soon, but... I worry, right? Whoa. Pinwheel industrial. Okay. Interesting. This is new. Whoa, dear. Oh. What happened? The area of the mine that you just entered seems to be outputting a variety of important memories. There also seems to be a strong signal coming from within it that appears to be in line with what we'd expect from the artifact. The item we're after to make you stronger. To make me stronger? With dementia, it's often the patient's short-term memory that begins to falter first. We can use older memories as a seed to help rebuild and validate our patient's life story. The artifact should also help us to avoid another relapse, whilst allowing us to target the amyloid plaques that cause our patient's brain cells to die in the first place. Okay. Slow down, Phyllis. <laughs> don't really know what's going on here. What? What is the artifact? This has gotten rather creepy all of a sudden. What's this? Miner's dry arsenic house or tramming mill management. Hey, another book. Painter's journal number six. Today was bad. I didn't go to group because I had lost my house keys and I couldn't find them anywhere. I got so angry and frustrated that I emptied all my drawers and flipped over every cushion or pillow that I owned. I got a call from Dr. Edmonds later on in the day, and she was asking why I hadn't attended therapy in preparation for my next consultation. She sounded concerned on the phone, but I tried to let her know that I was fine and that she had nothing to worry about. Sometimes it feels like a noise in my head, the confusion, that is. Too many avenues to explore, some much darker than others. I got my pencils out so I could draw at home and relax, but found many of them to be broken, so I used some charcoal to sketch out some ideas. I found it stopped me stressing out a lot. Afterwards, I found that my keys were upstairs in the bathroom cabinet for some reason. At least this means I can go to art group again next week. Okay. Jean, what is going on? It's a shame, but none of this is going to last. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Once again, getting very lost. Hey, bathroom. Hey, also bathroom. Hey, paper. Hammer. I'm going to assume someone borrowed my hammer with the intention of returning it. I expect it to be here when I get returned from the mines. Alright, so we need to keep an eye out for a hammer and put it in the bathroom for some reason. Oh, good, gas masks. Important notice, ore tramming levels are unacceptable. Miners must meet their quota in order to maintain production levels. Workers are expected to take any measures excuse me, necessary in order oh god, to increase tramming of ore. Alright, Brimcliff Mine, captains assigned to the mining op the mining operation. Captain Nick Sean Chris Jake at different fathoms. All miners working in Brimcliff Mine should report to their respective captains on all manners related to the fathom assigned. 
Notice to all miners. Miners caught smuggling ore will be prosecuted. Random searches will take place at, upon leaving the center. All miners are expected to cooperate as part of the fulfillment of their duties. Mining warden. Alright, we have plates. We have... Another guitar. Uh, lots of plates, lots of plates. Mugs. TV. That doesn't work. Okay. Are we looking for ribbons again, or what's going on here? Uh, okay, what's going on here? Checklist. Daily, make coffee and place on desk ready for him. He doesn't like to wait. Sweep pooled water into drains by door. This is an absolute joke. This week, routine locker search. Arrange appointment for Sean V. with Mining Warden for disciplinary action. Arrange performance reviews for miners. Put coffee cleaning tablets in different bottle. Miners confusing them with arsenic. Check with... Mill management about shipment completion day. Restock miners' dry kitchen. Empty arsenic disposal. Village cider to stop production. Bloop de bloop. Yes. Mm, I'm not sure we're allowed to be in here. Uh, <laughs> well, there's no one here though. Let me to rummage through his desk. Miner's dry pressure relocation. Mr. Lewis, unfortunately due to the new expansion schedule, I simply cannot authorize three new drill pieces to be used in the depths. As the company's core repairman, I consider it part of your job to find a manual solution to this problem. If you need assistance with this, please don't hesitate to contact through again. Pressure. I feel conflicted. There is no way in hell I will be able to get this job done effectively if I am not strict and stern with my workers. I just wish that they knew that I do not mean to be this way, that I am harsh so that the work is complete on time. It's their jobs on the line if we don't make an adequate turnover, and the local economy relies on these shipments to stay afloat. It's a tough job, but someone has to do it. I just wish that I didn't let it get on top of me sometimes. I care so much about them all staying in work. The weight of this mine is on my shoulders, and my back is beginning to hurt. Hmm. Okay. Poor guy. He's feeling the strain. Alright, I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing just yet, so... Just going to continue wandering, I suppose. Okay. Notice to all miners. Yes, right. No smuggling. Hey! I bet this will be useful. Weak structure. Miners do not under any circumstances... Use the washroom facilities and the miners dry until maintenance work has been carried out. Please use bathroom next to canteen if you wish to wash. Pressure control terminal. Oh, didn't we see... We saw something about this in the other room. Hold on a second. That was troubling music. 300, 100, 200, 300, 100. Three hundred, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, one hundred. A stadium almost full with screaming fans. His little eyes taking it in for the first time. Is that these cramped rooms were where the miners spent most of their time before going underground? It was like a community here. Records show that the mining wardens usually put a lot of undue pressure on the miners to meet quotas. It must have been a grueling job. Alright, we have some locks we could get open. Uh, Sean and Chris's lockers. Miner 
water's dry. It's an axe in the sign. I don't like this. Do not like this, Sam I am. Don't appear to be able to get through here. Oh good, I'm stuck. Okay, no, that's alright. Crunch. There we go. That's... Water? On the floor. Okay. Um... I would kill for a map. Absolutely kill. Uh, we'll come back here. Puzzles. <laughs> Whoa. Troubling noises. Hey, coffee machine. Wasn't one of uh what's your face's assignments was to uh put coffee on what's his face's desk? Make coffee and place on desk ready for him. Oh, I don't think we read what this said. Tasks for the day. Disciplinary action with possible suspension for Sean V. We've had words that he's been stealing materials from the industrial center. Find where my missing mug is gone. I cannot find it anywhere. Alright, so we have to find the mug. The missing mug. And fill it with coffee. Uh, I'm assuming that's a side puzzle, though? I don't really know what's going on. Seven... What the fuck? Whoa, the music just got really dark. How did we get here? Oh, yeah. I can't remember. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. Okay, here we go. Pressure relocation. For lots of different... Okay. Um... Stop doing that! Oh god! Okay, alright. Okay. This game creeps me out, like, not even kidding. Like, I know... The... <laughs> Clearly the engine isn't sophisticated enough for me to actually run into anyone else, and yet... I keep expecting... Something is going to drop on me. Like a jaguar. Did we go up this way? I'm really no. sorry for asking, but I thought I'd left them there. What? You're not making any sense. <sighs> Alright. We got here tools. Is there a hammer? We can go put in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, hey. Wash bed sheets today. Okay. Pick mail up from floor, open mail, sort mail into important and junk piles. Place junk pile into bin, place important pile into letter rack. I think some of these are like notes Jean left herself in the real world. Aha! Well, I must say, oh, I hoped up. this case would have been solved by now. I know, I know, I should take some of the responsibility. But I have given you every resource imaginable to complete this restoration. Just remember that all of this funding is lost if you don't do your job effectively and find that artifact. If you don't stop guilt-tripping me, I am going to beat your face with something hard. The 
fuck was that? I think I see where this is going. Do you now? I don't. J4. Pinwheel Village. We can't get that way yet. Can't get there from here. Oh, hey. Found it another one. It seems that the patient is getting a little agitated. Not to worry, though. They always get worse before they get better. <laughs> With that said, I have been warned about, well, pushing these experiments too far. Hey, there's another reason. But I feel like I can trust you. You will keep this just between us. Uh. A gift. I remember coming home one sunny afternoon after I'd been attending school to find an odd-shaped parcel on the living room table. My father had recently stopped working at the mine, and my mother had unfortunately, uh, had unfortunately left us both for a reason that I never truly knew. I think he wanted me to know that he still loved me regardless of his situation. My father came downstairs smiling, his eyes a little lost, and told me to sit down. He pushed the present towards me, and I began to open it. Inside was a tin Davy's lamp, all cleaned up and ready for use. It had been my father's from when he had worked in Devlin. It meant everything to me. 